Hi, my name is Gail Garber and I am honored to be the featured artist at AQS Quilt Week Daytona Beach, Florida in 2018. I love quilting and I love the AQS shows. And you know, it's just such a wonderful place to come and visit and see quilts at any one of their shows around the United States. So I wanted to talk to you today about a couple of the quilts that I have here. The exhibit has about 30 quilts in it all together, but we're only gonna look at a few. And I thought this was a good place to stand because this is my very first quilt made back in 1980. If you were quilting back in 1980, you knew that there were many, many rules about quilt making that you had to follow. First of all, your quilt had to be made entirely by hand. If you made it on the machine, it wasn't really a quilt. Well, my goodness, how times have changed since then. But this quilt is made entirely by hand. And a funny thing happened when I took that first quilting class. I fell in love with quilting because I realized there was just no end to the design possibilities and the things that I could do. And in the early years, my quilts were rather traditional. But by 1984, just four years into quilting, I actually began drafting some of my own designs. I'd like you to meet Azimuth. This is the quilt that I started in 1984 after I had been quilting for just four years. And I was inspired by Ginny Byer's Ray of Light Medallion, which I thought was the most beautiful quilt I had ever seen. And what I wanted more than anything was to have a quilt like that quilt. So I didn't know how to do that and I couldn't find a pattern for one. So I joined a work study group and my teacher was an 82 year old woman named Ruby Chick who taught me how to draft and design my own patterns. So I started designing this. And of course, back then I was still in the make everything by hand mode. So this quilt was 100% stitched by hand. It took five years to make it. And my plan was initially to have it on my bed, which was a king size bed. And I thought that it would be beautiful. However, after five years of hand stitching on it, there's no way this was ever gonna be on my bed. Furthermore, it was too big to hang up anywhere in my house. And so a few years ago, it went to live at the National Quilt Museum. But this gave me the ideas and it taught me how to start drawing and designing and doing the things that I love to do today. And it kind of came to a head when I got to about 1996 and I designed my quilt Big Bang. So Big Bang was what I consider to be my epiphany quilt. And this is the first time that I had designed all of the elements. It has a border and it has a background and it has a center, except that, you know, things come in front of the border and they disappear behind the border and there is really no negative space in this quilt. So we have the geese, the flying geese, which is when I figured out how to do this, the flying geese were developed so because I wanted there to be motion in this quilt. I wanted you to see that this star was coming this way and that star was coming that way and they were going to run into each other right here in a big boom. And so this is the quilt that forever changed the way I view quilting because now, you know, when I think about making a new quilt, I actually think about all those elements. And in all of my quilts since that one, for instance, like these two quilts on this sidewall, all of them have a lot going on in the background. They're not just one static piece of fabric. They are many fabrics that all together work to form a background fabric. After I finished Big Bang, I rather fell in love with the idea of creating my own background fabrics. And so the second in the series is called Cosmic Parade. In this quilt, I didn't want there to be motion, but I wanted the stars to be static, like the floats in a parade. And through it all, the flying geese that come around are like the clowns in the parade that run around between the floats. And yet, I still pieced my background all out of flying geese. And that forms a, a subtle pattern in the background that makes 
everything still reads background, but there's a lot going on. So that was done after that one. And over here we have climate change. Climate change is one of my newer quilts. And in this one, again, you see there is a background, but it's subtle. It, it comes in here and here and throughout. And in this one, I've expanded the geese even further now. So they don't really appear as geese, but rather as flames coming off of this large fireball in the bottom. This is another one of my quilts. This is an older quilt as well. This was done in 2002. It was done for the American Quilter Society United We Quilt Challenge to memorialize the events of 9-11. And I knew the quilt would travel for three years and it would come back to live with me. But I didn't want to have a graphic, um, I didn't want to have a graphic depiction of the horrible event. So when I made this quilt, I, the gray geese down here represent the rubble that was the World Trade Center. And the little yellow pointy dudes right here represent the good deeds, the individual good deeds that happened that day. And through it all, it culminates in a bright shining star of freedom surrounded by the patriotism of America. And one of the things that I love about this quilt is that it, it has the 10,000 pyramids border. So this is a really simple border to do. I'm gonna hold that out there so you can see it. And it's just triangles sewed on a foundation all the way around. And it's every piece of red fabric in my stash. So it's got darks and lights and some of them are kind of ugly, but they all work together and they give you that illusion of red, but they also give you sparkle and light. And if you could imagine this without that, it wouldn't be nearly as effective if it was just one piece of red fabric. So this is one of my all time favorite quilts. And I'm happy that it's hanging here in the show at AQS Quilt Week, Daytona Beach in 2018. And I want you to be sure to visit the AQS Quilt Week shows wherever you are in the United States. Thank you.